YouTube, it's Granny Witch 73 and this is day 8 of my juice fast sort of thing. And this morning I wanted to talk to you about some of the vegetables that I'm using. Like you already know about the celery and the cucumber and the apple and the cabbage. Um yesterday I went out and got some bell peppers. And I got the rainbow one, so I got red, yellow, and orange. So they're in the bowl already cut up with my apple and my cabbage. And then I've got my celery because I put them in whole. I got Swiss chard. Now, the one I bought this stuff yesterday, um, just yesterday. And when I went up upstairs, and they were in the only in the fridge overnight. Look at it. This some of it, most of it actually, is just like there's not. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to juice this because it's just dead. So I took the, the hardier of the leaves and I washed them up and cut the ends off because, as you can see, the ends are pretty gnarly. Because when you cut them and let them sit, they get a, a scab, kind of, like when you cut your skin at the end. And you don't want that in your juice. I mean, I don't want that in my juice. I went on and did some research about the... the the different vegetables and you know you know everybody knows they need their leafy greens and and you gotta eat in color to get all the vitamins and minerals you need but I was interested to find out what exactly I'm putting into my juice so first I started with cabbage because I love cabbage and it's got to be the most versatile vegetable on the planet you can do anything with this Brussels sprouts or they smell like butthole but you know, some people like them, and they're really good for you. But I like making cabbage rolls and cabbage soup, as I've said before, and just boiling this stuff and putting some butter and salt on it. I never even thought about juicing cabbage until I got this juicer. So I wrote stuff down because I'm old, and it's morning, and I haven't even had my first coffee yet. I'm still working on it. So bear with me. Um, okay, so cabbage is a detoxifier. It detoxifies the skin and the body. Uh, it aids in weight loss, which, you know, I told you about with the cabbage soup diet fad thing. Um, it's immunity builder, and it aids in liver function, which is great because if you're, you know, trying to lose weight and uh, detoxifying your body, you want your liver to work well because that's where everything gets flushed through. Mm. And if you have had any kind of substance abuse problems or alcohol problems, you know, it's, it's an idea to k try to keep your liver from dying on you. Not that I'm judging, I don't judge people, I'm just saying, you know, if you're interested in the health factors of cabbage, that's one of them. Okay, so cucumber. This little green guy right here. Now, I've, I've been buying, I'm trying to buy locally here in Ontario, because, you know, I just... Now, I got these the peppers in a bag and they're not you know I, I'm not exactly sure where these are from because I ripped it open before a product of Mexico it says right there and with it being so early in the season it's hard to get produce in your area now I I don't like to have stuff that's been sitting on a truck or sitting in customs for weeks on end before you get to it because a lot of the enzymes and health benefits are washed right out of it by then. So um, when I was cutting up the bell peppers, and when I used to cut up these, the, the Ontario ones that I get, I keep the seeds and I will grow my own bell peppers. But when people talk about GMOs, like genetically modified stuff, this is part of what they're talking about they genetically alter these so that they won't grow a seed so that the seeds don't develop so you can't grow your own produce when you get it home and they do it because they don't want you to be able to create your own food so you know every now and then you get the the ones that have the really good seeds and i'm going to plant this later and see if it can grow but there is something that they're doing to these these poor plants that is causing them to be infertile because they don't want to lose their revenue. Anyways, back on point. Cucumber, highly alkali alkalizing and hydrating, full of vitamin A, C, and K. And because it's the dark green, there's um, 
uh, iron in it, or not iron, sorry, um, protein in it as well. You can get, if you're, um, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you know that the darker the greens, the, the higher protein, plant proteins are in it. Um, also, it's, it's a lot better for your body if you eat the more vibrant colors in the spectrum. It, that's what I was, you know, taught as a kid. Anyways, there's, um, in the cucumber, there's magnesium, silicone, potassium, it has the ability to cleanse the body and detoxify the entire body, and it aids in digestive, digestive problems, like, you know, um, uh, I can't even remember the name of it right now, it's so early in the morning, but anyways, uh, if you're having, like, ulcers or whatever, it helps to cool down the body. Cucumbers is a cooling vegetable. Um, celery. This little baby right here. This is another favorite of mine. I use it all the time in everything. Um, I do drink, so when I have a Caesar, I, I reach for the celery. A lot of people like the pickled beans. I do too, but this is so much cleaner. So much, I don't know. It just, it to me, I like it better, but... I like beans that grow off the vine, just not pickled. Uh, so celery helps your body to feel full because it's very fibrous. So, you know, if you're eating celery, that's a great way to um, keep from overeating while you're on a diet or trying to lose weight. Um, sparks weight loss because it keeps you feeling full. Balances your blood sugar. Helps maintain healthy cholesterol. Feels... Um, feeds good bacteria in your gut and it boosts your immune system. So that's the other benefit of eating the spectrum of color because your immune system needs all those vitamins and minerals that you are only found because of the color of, of some of these vegetables. So each vegetable has a, a vitamin or a mineral that's attached to the color of the vegetable, like carrots or orange because they're high in, um, uh, beta carotene and you know uh, apples are high in flavonoids that are good for your heart um, a glass of apple juice remember back in the day they say apple a day keep the doctor away well a gla glass of apple juice a day helps people who suffer from asthma and um, it's it full of antioxidants and detoxifies the um oh I can even read my own writing and it's full of vitamins, so like, you know, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, all that stuff. Um, bell peppers, as I said, they are full of vitamin K, vitamin E. Um, vitamin A, 214%, oh, sorry, that's in Swiss chart, <laughs> that's this stuff, sorry, back up, okay, sorry. The bell peppers, vitamin C which increases your body's ability to absorb iron and also um, red bell peppers are a good source of, of iron and uh, they're good for your eyes. Um, bell peppers, especially the red bell peppers, help the, uh, they helps uh, boost your the eye part of your eye that the retina that sees light so the part that you know gets damaged over time from the sun and and they you know they tell you don't stare into the sun because you'll burn out your retina well this little veggie right here helps to protect that intricate part of your eyeball so you know it works for a multitude of things and like I said the Swiss chard which I jumped ahead a little bit too far um, is an antioxidant it's rich in vitamin K E A which is the 214 percent vitamin C it's got calcium copper magnesium manganese iron potassium and protein okay now if you're doing the the juicing diet and you've done um, the gastric bypass or the sleeve or whatever, they will tell you that your main issue will be protein and getting vitamins and stuff that your body can no longer process when you eat your food because if you're like me and you had the wide gastric bypass, your stomach system, your gastric system has been altered so that the top part of your stomach is cut 
away from the main part of your stomach. You still got the juices and everything developing in the bottom part of your stomach, but it's not utilized the way it used to be. So all the food goes in to a space about the size of an egg. At the beginning, when you first have your surgery, it will stretch out a little, but it's not supposed to stretch out too much. You can hurt yourself and you could gain weight back if you're not careful. So that little pouch has a tiny hole about the size of a dime where your food goes through. And trust me, you do not want to mess with that little pouch because you get something called dumping syndrome. Oh my God, it's hell. And you will not ever want to do that to yourself again. But um, the, one of the main things they tell you is to keep your proteins to 40 grams or more. And because your body is, your, your body needs protein for a lot of things. But also calcium and, and all of these, um, iron for example, you need magnesium in your diet for your body to be able to process iron and vitamin C. Um, it helps your body to absorb the iron. So, because copper and magnesium and, and iron and stuff like that, they're heavy metals. Your body, we are created from those elements, but we have to have it all in balance. So if we don't, we can get sick and it can detrimentally hurt our body's processes. So... That's the whole point with this is is for me to try and find balance in my diet because it's been so out of balance and I felt it so badly because of the fact that, you know, if you, I was anemic before I had my surgery and after the surgery, my anemia has become worse to the point where I now have to have B12 shots and I have to take iron supplements. The idea of this I don't know if anybody's ever had an iron supplement. They're awful. They do terrible things to your to your body, but because your body is not naturally able to just absorb iron. Anyways, it has to have a, a cocktail of of different uh, things to absorb any one of these vitamins and, and minerals. You have to have it in balance. So that's the idea. That's what I, I wanted to show you today because, like I said, you should do your homework and, and know what you're putting into your, your system. A lot of people do just one of these vegetables, like um, the celery juice, straight celery juice, for and, and some people do wheatgrass, just a straight shot of wheatgrass, just a tiny little shot um, once a day for it, its benefits. I've been kind of mixing and matching. I found a few things that I really, really like, like the cabbage and the apple and the cucumber and the celery. Those are my main four ingredients. But I'm kind of trying to, you know, work with this. I want to try the, um, uh, not lettuce, uh, spinach next. I do want to go out and I want to try to, to wild craft some stinging nettle and try to juice that because there's a lot of health benefits in stinging nettle. Um, anybody who's ever been on the herbal track can tell you that stinging nettle is like the super, um, herb of the, of the herbal holistic train, you know, like it, it has everything and it has antihistamines and all that stuff in it, in the stingy part. Um, I would suggest you, you do your research and make sure that what you're doing is right for you. Because if you don't like it, you're not going to stick to it. And that's, that's the main issue. Like it has, you have to like it because if it tastes like ass, you're not going to want to do it again. So find your, your, your niche and get it all, get your thing going, but make sure you, you experiment a little, do some vegetables that, you know, wouldn't normally think about doing look up what juices what vegetables have what in them and see what you can mix and match but anyways that's just my little advice for the day i'm gonna do my juicing now and uh hopefully get this mess cleaned up soon because uh i got a lot of stuff to do today i'm supposed to go see the grandkids and oh yeah i should tell you it's day eight so i've been had a lot of um, ups 
since I started the juicing. So, like I said the other day, the um, hems, the, the part that isn't very nice, the nasty part where your body's flushing out, is, is over now. And I've got more energy, and I'm up and doing stuff and puttering around. And, and I don't seem as like I used to be at 3 p.m. like exhausted and I'm not getting that anymore so you know I'm I'm thinking that there's some benefit here obviously but I, I need to go get my blood work done um Wednesday or Thursday this week so I'll let you know how all of this has helped that because that was my main goal is to see if I could up my vitamins and minerals without the without the uh synthetic version of the stuff. So anyways, have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend and a great week and I will post another video tomorrow. Stay safe and bright blessings everyone. <laughs>